Interesting to see, and you know what else is strong? The winds this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, it is really blustery, especially if you are traveling up towards the I-5 corridor. Mm -hmm. It could see gusts uh, isolated up to 70 miles an hour, so really something you should know if you are planning to travel or drive through that area. We're already starting to see wind pick up along the coast. Here is a live look over the Santa Monica Pier this morning, and I want to take you outside. Here is a look at the gustiest conditions this morning. So through Santa Monica, all the way up through the San Fernando Valley, the Santa Clarita Valley, and the foothills and the mountains, that's where we are seeing double digit wind gusts at this hour. So look ahead, winds will start to shift to the northeast tonight. And once we see that northeasterly shift, Santa Ana winds will start to kick up. So you know what that means, very high fire danger. In the forecast, we do have a red flag warning in effect for portions of Southern California. And then a big warm up on the way, we are talking 90s returning to the forecast. So here's that red flag warning. We were talking about it yesterday and will still be in effect pretty much throughout today into this evening. This is for uh, the mountain communities as well as portions of the basin through the San Fernando Valley. So high fire danger in effect through today, not just in those areas, but across Southern California. It's going to be very dry and very gusty today. And with that, we still have those high wind warnings and wind advisories still in effect. So our future cast wind gusts, here's kind of what you can expect throughout today. Once we head into this afternoon, we'll start to see those wind advisories and high wind warnings expire by 3 p.m., although I wouldn't be surprised if we see those extended through tomorrow, because take a look, we'll see that northeasterly shift, those winds coming out of the northeast, double-digit wind gusts through Santa Clarita, Northridge, and then we'll see that expanded through the Inland Empire, the San Gabriel Valley. I think through the base, and it shouldn't be as gusty, still be brief today, but again, double digit wind gusts as we head towards this afternoon and then into the overnight hours. Winds will start to calm down just a bit, but we will still have very high fire danger here across the Southland. So we have low pressure out to the east of us, high pressure that is building. That is going to help us in that warm up heading into tomorrow and the start of the work week. But it also opens the door and gives us that setup for those Santa Ana winds. High pressure moving back towards the west as we head towards the middle of the week. That will give us a little bit of relief from some of the heat that we're going to be feeling. But then high pressure rebounding back by the end of the week. That has the potential to give us uh, another Santa Ana wind event. And right now looking like it could be stronger than what we are seeing now. Something we're going to keep our eye on, obviously, but temperatures are going to be warming up back towards the end of the weekend into next weekend because of that. So for today, you can expect mid 80s for the metro areas, and that is going to bounce to the lower 90s by Monday into Tuesday. It is going to feel like summer for the valleys today, upper 80s that turns to lower 90s, even upper 90s by Tuesday. Again, a little relief as we head towards the middle of the week as far as the heat. High fire danger pretty much through this week, though, especially as we head towards the end of the week, as we have the potential to see more Santa Ana winds in the forecast. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Alex.